talking about herbs there I am uh, out in the field uh, doing my favorite thing uh, picking herbs finding herbs wondering what what an herb is good for uh, talking about herbs any, every chance I can get because I think they have such a wonderful thing about them which is the, they, they connect us to nature in a way that is is so vital and so important to all of us uh, we, we live in, in so, such unnatural lives in such unnatural places and uh, herbs may not necessarily be strong medicines but when we when we combine them with uh, knowledge and the and the uh, the years of training that it takes for a good herbalist to ma to develop some level of mastery I can't say complete mastery because that's almost impossible with a subject as profound as herbal medicine but some level of mastery we can we can approximate uh, uh, and treat conditions for which Western medicine at this point seems to have no uh, satisfactory answers uh, we hear about the dangers of herbal medicine, and and mostly these are ag these are exaggerated and or served as a distraction from the very real dangers of that uh, that affect thousands of people every day, from over-the-counter drugs and pharmaceuticals, uh, compared to the uh, handful of of uh, instances of herbal adverse herbal reactions that people might claim worldwide from the use of herbs. So. I've I've been doing herbs for 39 years, and that that pharmacy that you see me in there, mixing up, uh, I'm, I'm, of course I'm posing, but <clears throat> uh, that pharmacy uh, took me uh, 25 years to build up. It's something that I enjoy. People enjoy walking in there and smelling all the herbs and and being confronted with it because this is a real clinical herbalist, and there's not many of us around. Uh, I work very hard in trying to trying to teach what I know to other people and advance that knowledge. And uh, the East West Herb Course is uh, uh, the most successful herb, herb course in the country, and to that extent, to to that purpose. And uh, students go through a uh, a training process that begins simply enough with being uh, distance learning lessons, 36 of them, but. Uh, Gradually, they're led into a deeper and deeper level of involvement through uh, the Learning Center on our website, and then through the week-long seminars that we give each year in the spring near my home. I have a clinic, uh, and that's my wife Leslie and the famous man in the middle, Danny Glover, who was a patient of mine for a while. Uh, and uh, it's located in downtown Santa Cruz, where I practice herbal medicine, acupuncture. And the type of herbal medicine I call planetary herbology because it incorporates Chinese, Western, and Ayurvedic, the best from all the all the great herbal traditions and cultures of the world. And that's the information about the East West Herb School. So, uh, because some people think I might know a little bit about herbs, and some of you might think that, and that's why you're here. Let's talk about some herbs and uh, for influenza. First of all, we mentioned astragalus root. This is a common vetch in China, and there are many vetches that grow in North America, and they've not been studied, so we don't know if they have any similar properties at all. But they they usually grow in waste places in in, in the United States, and uh, this yellow vetch has been revered revered by the Chinese as the major herb for the Wei Qi. Wei means the super, superficial or su surface immune system. One study in in China found it to be 96 percent effective in preventing recurrent respiratory tract infections in 32 children. The study noted an increase in immunoglobulin A with no significant effect in IgC or IgM. Uh, astragalus is used uh, for all chronic and disease but it's used specifically uh, for colds and flus not for treatment but for prevention and I have seen uh, tremendous uh, results of people who have gotten free, tend to get frequent colds and flus and giving them a stragglers root uh, in the form of the jade windscreen formula which is a traditional Chinese herbal formula and I've seen that that cycle stop within 30 days of taking that formula I had one one uh, young kid who seemed to catch everything that seemed to come around on a weekly basis in the school that he went to and uh, I, I gave him jade screen and, uh, and and it was 
pretty unmistakable to see that 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 cycle had broken and he and when he took his almost like he put something in his body that it really needed to stop him from getting the flu so frequently um, and astragalus is the major herb there's two other herbs in in jade windscreen i might tell you a little bit of the lore associated with this this formula the term wind in chinese d denotes an infectious disease especially when it's a, an external condition. Internal wind uh, is usually referred to as a neurological disease, like Parkinson's or shaking types of diseases or epilepsy. It's internal wind. But when we're talking about uh, external wind, colds and flus, or skin diseases, uh, they're usually infectious and things that tend to, to uh, uh, proliferate. And uh, I, I think of uh, a histaminic reaction as being typical of wind react what, what the Chinese have, have for centuries called wind. And uh, jade is believed by the Chinese to have magical and healing properties. So you put the two together, you, you make a jade windscreen, and you put it around yourself to protect yourself from colds and flus. And that's what the idea of that formula is all about. These are the three herbs of jade windscreen that uh, Astragalus, Attractolotus, and Sepashtikovai, uh, a word a word that has gone, uh, an herb whose name has gone through three or four different evolutions during my lifetime. I like the first one the best. I'm still stuck on it. It's called Siler, S-I-L-E-R. Um, and uh, it dispels any external pathogenic factors, including viruses or bacteria. This herb is very is in the same family as a number of uh, herbs that grow from the Midwest of North America all the way to the coast of California and Oregon. In California, uh, some of you who are on who are on the uh, track will know know of the herb called that the Kerox called, which was wild celery root or kishwoof. It's in the same family, and it's basically the California version of osha root, and. Uh, I recalled that when I first moved to the mountains in Northern California, lived with the community there, there were some old timers who talked about the 19 epidemic and, uh, and some Indians who also talked about it and how uh, people there, uh, as soon as they heard about this epidemic killing so many people, they uh, began taking uh, the local version of OSHA that was there. And uh, this, this actually occurred all the way through, as I mentioned, from the Midwest with the various subspecies of that plant. And uh, and they they mentioned how uh, uh, statistically it was found that uh, th there were very low instances of people who caught the flu and uh, and people who died of the flu who had taken this herb during that uh, epidemic. 